previously in Beholder 2. Oh, hello! Oh, shit! <gasps> I don't want to work here anymore. I got a promotion. I've been transferred to the 25th floor. I never doubted you, not even for a second. Well done. A little more and you'll find yourself at the top. Start working on your next boss. Get to know him, gain his trust and find something on him. You know, the usual. Or just get your colleagues out of the way and climb up the career ladder to the next floor. I don't know what's happening in this department. Weinberg is the boss here and he's one secretive and fanatically dedicated person. Be careful. Hello, hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Beholder 2. I got promoted again. I didn't spend nearly as much time in the floor 12 than that I did in the floor 1. But yeah, now we are going up to floor 25. Let's see what do we have there. Once again, I wait. What? Hey, are you the one who was recently promoted to this floor? Um, Evan. Evan Redgrave. Yeah, Evan. I'm Amelia. Born Amelia Weiss. And now, I'm still called Amelia Weiss. <laughs> I see. Do you already know what we're doing here? No. What? No one said anything? Nope. I've never heard of anyone getting their instructions before transferring to a new position. Damn it. Well, we have clones here. Yeah, got that. Okay. And you need to upload all kinds of rubbish into them, fine tune them. Basically, make sure they aren't complete idiots and that they're capable of doing their jobs. That all. Let that sink in. Well, here's your workplace. I think you're smart enough to figure out what's what. Aren't you going to help me? I've arranged to have a Borean manicure for the cleaning lady on floor 17. Do you think your clones are more interesting than, uh, than that? Tough question. Isn't it just? I'm going to floor 17. I'll think about that question and you get down to work. Do you have anything? What do you think about our colleagues? Promise not to tell anyone? I swear. I worry that everyone here might be crazy. Why? All the science has left them uh, with a little few screws loose. I recently came to work in a low cut dress and no one noticed. Uh huh, how well, about the ministry? How did you get in here? I have to work somewhere, though I'm not sure why. I got on just fine without it. And how did you get here? Daddy helped me when I graduated from the institute. He said that this was a cushy job and I could handle it. And? It's only been a month. It is cushy. But you're managing to cope, right? Well, I'm not stupid, okay? Private life. Do you already have your eye on someone? Why? Are you married? Uh, yes, I am actually. Here, relax, you're not my type. It's just... Everyone here is so smart. No. And I'm not one of them. <laughs> Don't be frightened, often, sweetheart. I just feel like I'm the stupidest person here and that isn't right. It's not my fault that our professors gave our grades without us having to take exams. Okay, I don't have the authority to recommend self-development to you just yet, so... I'ma just end this conversation. Bye! Um, prepare 10 clones. I have three strangers here again, yes. And a security guard. What else? Let's just go through this Carl number... that one. Hello, Carl. Hello, how can I help you? I guess you can't. Uh. Okay, that was kind of horrifying. Card with papers. Ah, oh, yeah. Biometric save. 
instruction to the management of tenement buildings. Picking disc locks. Alrighty. Brilliant. Whole bunch of corals here. How oh, can I help you? And they don't say much. Nope, they don't say much. Okay. Hello, there's a stranger. I'm gonna go and meet the boss man first thing. Hello, Mr. Bossman, I think you are. Hi! Hello, I'm Evan Redgrave. I was recently promoted and transferred to this floor. Do the your merits or your authority? Authority? Yes, that won't get you anywhere on my floor. Here we only value true achievements in the fields of science. I remember that. Then better. I'm Isaac Weinberg. Oh, am I so glad that now I have actual classes with which I can do this. I am the demiurge of this floor and all that transpires on it. Demiurge? Does that mean... Creator? Yes, your father came up with that one. I create new creatures and breathe life into them. He and I were pretty close until uh, the accident. Okay, I'm gonna start with general chat. Talk about the clones. Comrade Weinberg, why do we need so many clones? Strange question, Evan. Where else can we find so many able-bodied men to meet the needs of the economy? We are at war, if you haven't noticed. Well then, why not send the clones to be soldiers instead of ordinary people? Do you know how much it costs to make a clone? Losing people is much more cost-efficient. Effective, okay? This floor? How did you end up in this floor? No, I didn't. I created it. Everything you see around you is my creation. My life. I know every cell in every clone. I know every single Carl just by looking at them. I must admit, sometimes I even come here to talk to them. Do they respond? Of course not. But I'm happy to sit here in silence and think about a better world. Comrade Weinberg. What are you working on at the moment? I'm preparing the launch of a new generation of clones. We managed to eliminate almost all the bugs in the previous versions. There are still a couple of little things left over, like hiccups, tickling, and a love of cats. What? Why do you people hate cats? What? It's odd, but all of the cars just love cats, and we can't just do anything about it. In future, what do you think the clones will really make our future better. Do you think that the clones no, Of course. What were you expecting? Everything bad about our current society comes from people. Laziness, anger, aggression, love. Is love a bad thing? When love interferes with the fulfillment of work quotas, it certainly is bad. We'll fill the world with ideal creatures, and when there are enough of them, people will realize how beautiful it is to live in a perfectly constructed world. And what happens next? I hope by then the society will develop to a point of voluntarily giving this planet over to the clones. But until then, Evan, we still have to work and work. Okay, do you know about my father? Yes, Evan, Caleb and I were close. Two bright minds, two geniuses, two brilliant scientists. Of course, we always had something to talk about about or argue about. He often came to me for advice and I never turned him away. You know what happened to him? You know, for the last while your father was very thoughtful. Sullen, I'd even say. Maybe he realized that his way of correcting reality wasn't as good as mine and just couldn't accept it. His way? Oh yes, sorry. You're not supposed to know about that. Okay, 
What do you want? Evan, I have an important task for you. Can you be trusted? I'll do what I can, comrade Weinberg. As you know, on this floor we bent nature to our will and reshaped the human nature as we please. You've probably wondered why. Uh-huh, yeah, why? Why? To correct mistakes. Over the course of our evolution, humans have accumulated so much genetic, biological and social debris that we simply can't cannot keep encouraging the haphazard and chaotic development of our species. But I thought we couldn't do anything about that. Wrong. And that is exactly what your task is concerned with. What your task is concerned with. We have learned to remotely stimulate certain parts of the brain, causing recipients to react in accordance with our wishes. That sounds horrifying! <laughs> Department RGD9, acting under orders from the Ministry of Patriotism, has developed a portable emitters. You need to install them in the Ministry. What are these emitters? As I developed them from our main project with your father. They work at the physiological level. They stimulate the patriotism gland and the production of adrenaline. Patriotism gland. Yes, such a thing exists. I'll show you later. The ministry has decided to give its employees some extra love for the motherland as well as productivity boost. Is that possible? I told you, Evan, we are at the point where we can correct nature's mistakes, and there are quite a lot of those in humans. Yes, I can do anything here. Is that safe? It's actually good for people. They've all gotten lazy and forgotten who makes their lives happier. Okay, where should I put them? The processing procedure requires that the recipient remains within the emission radius for a certain time. And therefore, the patriotism emitters must be placed inside the statues and busts of the leader. We'll have just enough time for the procedure while people are cheering. I see. The productivity amplifiers should be put in crowded places. Vending machines. Eateries, water fountains, office floors. We don't need any on our floor, Evan here is working hard already. Okay, I see. I'll get back to you about that. I don't think I want to do that. And I will snoop around in your office when you're not here. Okay. Then, let's meet our co-workers, strangers. Hello, I'm Evan. I've just started working on this floor. So, are you a scientist or an attendant? Attendant? Nah, see, attendant it is. Since you'll be working with me, I'm ready to spend some of my precious time explaining it to you what I j just what I expect. Wait. I'll start with the main thing. My name is Dr. Horatio Newport. I'm 20 years old. I'm the head genius here. After Weinberg, I'm the main administrator here. In terms of scientific issues, I'm simply in charge. I understand. You're in charge. Correct. You are a servant and I'm in charge. Okay. What's your favorite TV show? Do you watch TV? Great minds break too. Need a break too. But no vulgarity like romance or shooting. Not interested. I watch the Schrodinger effect. It's about the scientist who can split himself in two for double efficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clones? Why are all the clones the same? Because we scientists don't care what the petri dish looks like. What matters is what's going on in it. Weinberg made the white decision, okay, and I realized that his voice just changed, but I think I like this one better. Weinberg made the wise decision to optimize the cost of appearance, which allows me to focus my attention on improving the content. What does that mean? Information is classified, you wouldn't understand. These are matters of science. What can you tell me about our colleagues? I have one colleague, Weinberg. The rest are a junior scientific staffs and attendants. Okay, what do you know about the boss then? He is the only person I could call my equal when it comes to intellectual capacity, knowledge and scientific standing. True, in recent times he has become fascinated by some gnostic theories, but great minds aren't without their eccentricities. 
Okay, what about this floor? What do you think? I'm an attendant. On this floor, people are divided into scientists and attendants. Scientists create and attendants simply replicate their discoveries to help make new ones. I don't think it's necessary to explain who is more important. Nor is there. Okay, do you have a family? Your family must be proud of you, Dr. Newport. I would be proud if they weren't so self-important. My father was only ever awarded the Minor Leaders Medal for Science, whereas I, don't you know, have been awarded a major medal, the state prize, and last year's Best Scientist Cup. When I pointed out to him that he was objectively less intelligent than me, he stopped talking to me. So now I live in a closed dorm for geniuses. Okay, bye. You're weird. And Amelia Weiss, you weren't supposed to be here just yet. Uh, security mister, can I talk to you, security mister? What do you want? What do you do here? None of your business. Okay, fine. Horatio Newport. Uh huh. Let's check out Horatio Newport's workplace. Oh, I don't have skills to do that. Well, crap. So I need more books. Okay, maybe I'll try to figure out the work. What what am I supposed to do here? Okay, hogweed terminal. Uh huh. Encyclopedia update. Due to Alonso Carrizo having been exposed as the Borean spy, the editorial board of the Great Patriot Against Encyclopedia recommends removing pages 21, 22, and 23, as well as the portrait of Carrizo inserted between pages 21 and 24 from the volume 5 of the GPE. Replacement pages will be provided. Okay, cool. Now, what? Ministry. Give me information. Most are the future of our country. Ministries are in constant need of new labor. Your task is to select suitable personalities for various jobs and load them into clothes. Choose a profession. Use influences to match personality traits with the job traits as closely as possible. You can choose from 1 to 5. Assess how well the personality fits the job. Use color of attributes as incredator, indignator. Green full, yellow partial with deviation of 5 points, black no match. Click apply, you will be rewarded if 3 or more bulbs light up. What? Okay. Start with gardener. Oh no, wait, I need to. Yeah, influence personality. Uh. What? How the fuck? Oh, I can... Yeah, that... No, wait, wait... Garden strength... Used 3 out of 5. Wait, wait, wait... I don't get this. I don't get this. Bah, crap. Okay, that... That didn't work. That was... Okay, that was just a test subject. Now I know what to do. Yeah, okay. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Okay. Refrigerator engineer. What if I just apply? Okay. That was close enough. Yeah. That was close enough. Oh my god. This is really, 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 really difficult. Oh my god. Okay. Chemistry teacher. Don't need much strength, but you need a lot of stamina and intelligence. Stop with that. Ah, 
I don't. I honestly don't get this. How the hell do I get more authority in here? I don't know. But. Oh, okay, I am. Uh, I'm not going to put this in, into this video any longer. Okay, that took a while. Get promoted and. Yeah. Took a while for me to figure out how the hell that whole thing worked. Okay, maybe I should talk to these people now. Hello? Hello, my name is Evan Redgrave. I'm going to be working with you on this floor. Maria Curie. Let's let's flum slurs there. Nice to meet you. Sorry? Okay, sorry, I don't understand you. And then you, Mr. Mr. Hello, who are you? Hello? Good day to you. My name is Evan. I was recently transferred here, so I'm trying to get to know my colleagues. My name is Stephen Dawking. Hello, Stephen. What's your favorite TV show? Something about medicine, I bet. So you assume just just because I have a disability. Oh, you have a disability? I didn't notice. Oh, I must automatically watch something about medicine. I like science fiction. Quantum junk heap, for example. I really like it. At least on that show, they don't try to treat hemorrhoids with the latest quotations. Family? Why do you ask? That's what people talk about. Family, weather, work. Yes, I'm here on special terms. I have double work quota, so I have no time to talk about family work, weather, or other nonsense. How about the clones, then? Do you think clones are people? Clones are clones, bags of meat for us to put brains into. But aren't people also bags of meat with brains? They are smart, but if you feel sorry for the clones, you won't last here long. Colleagues, what do you know about them? Maria Curie? Tell me about her. What is there to tell? She walks around and babbles. I can't understand the thing she says. They say she was a prominent scientist back in her own country, so our intelligence service told her. Stole her. But she has zero value here. Why? Like I said, no one understands what she's mumbling about, and it's impossible to find interpreters in ministry. Okay, how about Horatio Newport? Never understood the child prodigies. I've heard that he has an enormous IQ, but he works like any other idiot. Okay. How about Isaac Weisinger? Why can't you tell me about the boss? What is there to say about him? He's a brilliant scientist, but like all geniuses, he's a bit crazy. But he's his clones and tinkers with them constantly in his laboratory. Sometimes I think that they are all he needs. Okay. I never thought there'd be a whole floor in the Ministry occupied by clones. Ah, but that's the future. What do you mean? These clones will soon replace you, me and everyone else working in the Ministry. Isn't that scary? No, I just hope it happens to be after I'm dead. In the meantime, I just do science like everyone else here. Okay, bye then. Then what? Do I need to talk to you? Hi, Miss Weiss? Um, yes. I finished the first task. Aren't you a smart one? Keep on working like that and you'll get paid. So what's next? Oh well, you can do more work if you want more money. To be honest, I haven't thought about what next. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay, bye. So what do I do then? Okay, I have a bunch of things here. Oh, no, wait, maybe I need to start watching television again. Is that what is it about? Let's see, I'm just gonna wait a couple of hours here and go snoop around in the boss mistress office. Yes, here. Oh, that takes five hours. What about the stand? Okay, I can unlock that. Cool. Uh-huh. Biometric save. 
Want to know what spies are talking about? Need to frame your friend. Learn South Korean and do whatever you want. Oh, maybe I can, I can talk to Marie after learning a little bit of South Korean. No, I would want it a biometric safe. Here, open. Open Sesame. New information about. Okay, the bread grave. Oh, I have one more. Open another one. I'm almost done with the. I'm not coach. The closer to work, work gets to completion, the more the situation heats up. I cannot shake the feeling of an, an approaching thunderstorm. The very air seems to be electrified. Yesterday there was another failed attempt on Weinberg's life, and Ferguson doesn't even bother to hide his disappointment about it. They're like a pack of dogs fighting over a bone hanging above their heads. All I have to do is to immerse myself in work like Heimnitz and ignore what's happening. Sometimes I remind myself that an ostrich that tries to bury its head in the sand of the ministry might end up hitting it against the concrete floor, but I must finish this project, then I'll have my chance of redemption. Okay. And the desk, I can't work on that desk just yet, and that takes so many hours. That I don't have time for that right now. So what do we do now is we will give up all the information on the colleagues that we have. Yeah, anonymous this thing. Submit information about people there. Now we have a nice thousand authority points and I guess I'll just Go home and start learning new things, right? Whoa! Who the fuck are you? You scared the shit out of me! Hello, Evan! Hello, sorry, do I know you? You don't know me. Or more precisely, you know me, but not now. Or actually, you do know me now, but don't know that it's me. What the hell are you talking about? I'm Horatio Newport. Hey, I know a Horatio Newport. Wait, are you his father? What do you want? No, I'm not his father. I am Horatio Newport, but from the future, okay? Talk to me. I don't have a lot of time, so I'll cut to the chase. There is a fault in the clones, in the firmware. I made this error when we were working together in the same floor. What kind of fault? It doesn't matter. The important thing is that the clones have retained their repressed aggression and will start killing people in the future because they consider them to be imperfect. What do you want from me? You must stop make me from making this mistake. Prove that you are from the future. I knew that you'd want me to make sure. Looks like someone is knocking on the door. Will you open it? Who is it? Uh huh. Okay. Oh god. This is getting weird. Hello. Sorry, turn to your time again, but five minutes later. Uh, but how? I can make a third copy of myself at this time. No, thank you. Two is enough. Okay, thanks. Uh, so... Why don't you do yourself... Why don't you convince yourself? We invented a time machine, but it only has enough power to get us into the past for 15 minutes. I don't have time to get to myself and explain everything. But you got to me somehow. The present me lives in a guarded house for young geniuses. There's no way in. What about work? I don't even talk to myself at work. I was quite an arrogant jerk. Okay, what do you need me to do? It's useless to talk to the young me. You have to gain access to my terminal and fix the code. I don't know how. It's easy, I'll explain everything. And what if I fail? If you won't help me, I will have only one option. To kill myself here and disappear forever. There's enough time to take one shot. Although I would prefer not to. What about the fault? It won't carry over to the new version of the firmware. The clones won't become aggressive. We are running out of time, Evan. Okay, can you pay me in advance? Fine, you'll get your advance payment. Thank you. And you wouldn't refuse. Okay, tell me 
Why don't you tell me the password to your terminal? Because the password kept changing, keeps changing. The pass office issues a new password every day. Okay, well, fine. Sorry, I have to go. Time is running out. I hope that I'll be able... I'll be returning to a different world from the one I left. Oh yes, the terminal. The current answer is B. Don't forget. B. Gotta go. Okay, thanks. Bye. That was weird. You are weird. And... Horatio Newport. Oh, Horatio Newport. I can uh, make friends again. Cool. Lovely. First, I will read. I'll start with that. Read that. Now I know South Korean. Korean. Then I will read one page of that. Watch some telly. Do we have new shows here to watch? I want to make friends. Oh, yes, we do. Jesus, fuck, you guys are expensive. But fine, let's buy them. What I want to do today is to break into my all of my colleagues' work desks, see what they have there, and yeah. The work in that floor is really difficult. Seriously, it's really difficult, and it takes a hell of a lot of time. Don't worry about me, Mr. Security Guard, mister. I'm just gonna go here and check out her workplace. Uh-huh. Circular letter. On the basis of directive number 6970, the circular hereby annuals circular number extending orders, blah 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 blah. Take notice and report upon its implementation. Uh-huh. United we stand information service to Maria Curie. Last weekend, our victorious troops launched a decisive offensive on all fronts, advancing a considerable distance. The enemy is broken and demoralized. Their soldiers have laid down their weapons and surrendered. In order to deliver the last decisive blow, the leader calls on all those who stayed behind to give up their weekends and contribute the part of their salary to war fund. Nope, I will not. And that is a photo of Miss Curie. Okay, and then we will pick the lock. Uh huh. Biometric save. There will be trouble at the checkpoint. I don't care. Then let's go to your place. Pick that up, and then then check out the biometric safe. Stephen Dawking. Email. Quote, uh, provide a certificate of disability ASAP. In the event of failure to provide a certificate, certified certified certificate, the Ministry of Employment quota will be revoked. Your face is your grave. The Ministry of Social Care wishes to announce its annual lottery. This year's prize is an exclusive burial plot in the 34th row of the Central Cemetery. Any citizen planning to die in the next... 12 months is eligible to participate. Price cannot be sold or transferred to another person. There's a comfortable grave waiting just for you. This place is so fucked up. So very fucked up. Okay. How about... Uh-huh. Yeah, another one of those. And fast typing for everyone. Picking code locks. Alright. Cool. Okay, then I need to make some money. Oh, workplace, Horatio Newport. Okay, 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 wait. I need to first open these things. Information gathered, diary page. James was a good man. He was so reliable and strong that you felt confident in yourself when he was nearby. I'm very sad that we aren't as close friends as before. My distrust probably applies to everyone now. He's given me no reason for it, but my persecution complex manages to find suspicious details everywhere, in every phrase and look. As they say, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they aren't after you, and it seems to me that his sincere desire to help and to uncover the inner circle is hiding something else, someone else to be precise. 
Someone at the top of the IID is digging around for the inner circle. Though I wish to hold all my colleagues to account, the presence of one more piece on the chess board frightens me. That's why I don't trust the James. Uh huh. And the last one. And I'll code so. I remember the day your mother and I went to the coast. Everything changed when you were born, but back then we still had a coast not poisoned by fuel from sunken military tankers, without the burned corpses of young soldiers, both ours and Boreans, who died in that senseless war. On that sunny day, your mother and I drank three bottles of wine, swam until it got cold, and then warmed ourselves up in each other's arms under a large woolen blanket. I remember that day as clearly as if it was yesterday, because the day we conceived you is the second happiest day of my life. The first one is the day you were born. Aww, sweet. Okay then. Workplace Horatio Newport. Let's do this. Come on, come on. But I can't... I still can't do this. Hacking rocket terminals, oh! Okay, so that's gonna take a while. Fine. I guess I will end this episode of Beholder 2 right here. Grind a little bit. Wait, do we have anything in there? No. Crap. Yeah, because I don't have enough money to pay off the guards when they... Um, stop me at the checkpoint so I will leave this episode of Beholder 2 right here. Thank you all so much for watching this. If you liked it let me know. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again next time.